Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today so far. Today we are finishing up our last few speed builds on our Tropical Island Cocoa Bell 2.0. I'm so excited, you guys. I can't even believe that this island is already almost completed. We've been working in this series on 2.0-ifying this Tropical slash jungle themed island. And oh my gosh, guys, check it out. Bangle is here. <gasps> I think she has a flea. Oh snap. Let's get our net out because we need to rescue her from this. Oh my gosh. Poor thing. How embarrassing is that? She's got an infestation. Poor girl. Uh, anyways, now that we've rescued Bangle, we actually were lucky enough to snag her on the last villager hunt. So if you missed that video, please check it out. It was a complete blast. Really excited to have found this peppy cutie while we were doing our last villager hunt to complete our villager lineup for Coco Bell 2.0. But today I thought it would be fun to do a speed build. I wanted to kind of transform this little area. It's previously just sort of had a bunch of flowers and things like that, just overgrown weeds and a few random items. I wanted to transform it into a little tropical sort of tiki bar sort of thing where you can hang out, have a nice drink, something like that. Um, yeah, just thought it would be fun to sort of transform this. So let's speed things up and get going. I can't wait to get this um, all shushed up for a 2.0 look. All right, so first things first, I'm extending this path with this beautiful tropical dirt path. I love this path so much. We sort of started using this when we were revamping some of the other parts of the island. So I've sort of taken this on as the main pathing for the island. So yeah, I'll leave the custom design information and code in the description of the video for you guys. So if you want to find any of these things to use on your islands, you'll have them all readily available. We're also going to be adding on a couple of simple panels, these cute little drink stands. I really love this. It's going to make a great backdrop I think for this build. So we're going to put two of these right next to each other and then I'm going to kind of fill it in with a couple more simple panels with this bamboo wall sort of look. I love this item. It's a great way to fill it in and then a couple of these tiki menus. I really love this. Of course these are all custom designs that I found on the portal so again I'll be sure to link um, any information on that in the description of the video so you guys have it readily available. We're going to put in a little bit of signage and of course a moi statue because I think it's perfect for this sort of build. The moi statues I'm a little torn about. I love them but they kind of take up a lot of space so it is a little tricky to move around a few um, other items around them but they're really great. I love them. They're a Gulliver item. You can totally get your hands on one if you try to help out Gulliver and shovel up pieces of his phone. And then we're going to add in a couple of signage, one of these glowing signs which I absolutely love and then of course a vertical sign we've sort of framed everything in with one of these countertop things as well and then I thought it would be fun aside from this small part of the tiki bar here on the bottom let's create an extension of it here on the next level this whole area is basically sort of like a mountain a tropical mountainous area and we have Quinn's house up here which I thought would be fun to kind of decorate the interior of her house to sort of go along with the tiki bar vibe so I'll be doing that and we'll I'll be sure to show you an update of what her house looks like at the end of the video. We're going to add just a little bit of this bamboo pathing. I love this pathing. We've sort of been using this a ton on the island as well too with the 2.0 revamp. Used it a ton over on the beach when we did. If you missed the the quick build video we did a little tropical starbucks hut as well as a few other beach huts. You can see those featured in the the three easy beach hot video um, that we did on the channel um, about a month or so ago so I'll be sure to link that at the end of the video in case you missed that and you wanted to check it out but yeah we're putting down a lot of this bamboo sort of decking pattern I really like this it's a huge pattern it's got a lot of different pieces which makes it super versatile I'm using probably I want to say nine of them in this we're using a middle piece as well as several side pieces and then there's a few stair pieces you can download as well it's just a really great really wonderful tropical path then we're going to fill in with a little bit of the stone pathing and start dropping some items here again another moy statue and I really want to use more of this um, these simple panels to kind of fill in so again we're putting down some of the tiki menu more of the bamboo walls and then of course some of these little cute liquor bottles or drink bottles here on the back here just in case you want to keep it PG <laughs> we'll call it juice we're gonna be putting down another gazebo item I really really love these gazebos with a thatch hut roof oh my gosh they're perfect for a tropical island and they make the cutest little buildings you guys so get creative if you want to do your own take on this sort of 
build you can use some of these stalls you can use some of the counter um, the counters right here there's a lot of different things you can use I've also used simple panels in the front of these buildings um, if you can find a really great window or door pattern that's another alternative use that you can have to sort of frame them in and make them look like little buildings they're just super cute and fun and I'm really excited to be able to continue to use them on Coco Bell and then just putting down some more items. I'm trying to be kind of thoughtful with what we use here. Just using some of these tropical drinks along with this just super cute tropical drink stand. This standing sign over here is super adorable. And the drink pattern on it is actually one that comes on here in the game. It's an in-game um, choice for customization. So if you can get a customization kit, you can change that if you want. Um, just really excited that there's more options for signage in this game, truthfully. I feel like it's come so far since um, we got the 2.0 update last Last November really loving all of the changes I truthfully wish we could get some more I know that Nintendo pretty much said that they're not gonna be doing a whole lot more with this game we're probably just gonna have what we have but oh my goodness I know all of us love this game so much and it would be such a treat to be able to get more options like getting more um, pattern options as far as like all of the built-in patterns that we have for some of the item options would be so amazing but yeah, really just loving kind of putting in some of these items. I love the rattan furniture. I know it's kind of OG. It's from the beginning of the game. Um, but yeah, I really love it. It's per perfect for a tropical setting and just kind of thinking of little things you would see for a seating area for an outdoor tropical drink area. I just think it's going to be perfect. Yes, we have a little ambiance going with the speaker. And then I found some cute food items in my storage that I set out here on the stalls. And then we're just adding a few more pieces of signage. I love this lit sign, it's so cute. And finding this little tiki bar custom design was like chef's kiss perfect for this build. So I'll again, I'll list all of the custom designs that we've used in this build in the description of the video, along with also this palm stall. I really like this one as well. That's one that we used when we did the spa build over on the other side of the beach. So yeah, really excited with how this is sort of coming together. I really think a busing station honestly would look perfect right here, you guys. I don't think I have any more in storage. So I'm gonna order one of those and then fill it in here and place it for tomorrow because I think it'll be perfect. Perfect. Yes, loving it. I also um, added a little music area over there, like for a little bit of reggae music going on, a little bit of vibe, tropical vibes going on as you can hang out here at the Tiki Bar. I'm really happy with how this came together. I hope you guys will give this build a try for yourselves because especially if you have a tropical island, but even if you don't, you could totally customize these sort of structures of these builds into something that goes with your island. You could turn this into a little ice cream stand or maybe a shaved ice. So if you were looking to create um, something like that, you could do that. A popsicle stand would be super adorbs. If you're looking for something, I know that summer is sort of winding down, but if you're looking for cute little ways to sort of fill in small areas on your island, I think builds like this can really help kind of fill in some of those blank spots that you're not really sure what to do with. Marina is coming over here. She wants to check out the new digs. But yeah, all in all, really happy with how this turned out. And like I said, as we're wrapping up Cocoa Bell 2.0, I do have probably maybe one other small quick speed build for you guys. We previously had a yoga studio on the island on the rock area. And I, I heard from a lot of you that you wanted to see a yoga area stay. So we're going to kind of redo that a little bit. I'll do a speed build on that. And then we'll be wrapping everything up, believe it or not. We'll be doing a relaunch of the Dream Address here in the next week or so. I'm super thrilled to share this with you guys. And then probably I'll do one tour of the island as well, just so that if you don't have a chance to come visit in person, you'll be able to see it all done. All right, let's pop into Quinn's house because I was able to redo her interior. Quinn, what's up, my girl? I love her so much. She's so beautiful. I love her look. She's so funny. Totally love her personality. She's been cracking me up over here. But yeah, we kind of threw this together. I did the bamboo walling and just some of the chevron flooring. And I wanted to sort of create an extension of the tiki bar. I really like interactive builds. And if you missed anything that we did on Sugar Ball, which was the farm poor island, we did a ton of interactive builds. So if you're looking for ideas on how you can sort of create interactive spaces on your island, please check out that video on how to create interactive spaces. But yeah, really loving how this came together. I love this lit drink sign over here on the wall by her and just sort of tried to use a lot of vibrant neon colors for her build because I think it just, I don't know, kind of ties everything together with the Tropicore and really kind of ties in her coloration as well. So really pleased with how that came together.
let's pop back outside and we'll take one more look over here in this area we've i sort of i didn't really showcase this but flora's area is sort of this oasis spot back here i really like this i i'm gonna have to be doing some digging and shoveling of flowers because truthfully guys this island has become super overgrown and as we've sort of worked our way around redoing parts of the island flora's yard is sort of the only one that hasn't been really like weeded out thoroughly and rearranged but We'll get to that and I'll be sure to have that all just zhuzhed up before we re-release the dream address here in the next week to show you guys before summer's over. But yeah, I really love how this tropical sort of vibe we have going on here with the tiki bar. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you'll give this build a try for yourselves. As a reminder, you can find me on Instagram at Peppy Crossing Play. I always, always love to hear from you guys and I can't thank you all enough for all of your kind messages. You all, you all truly, truly mean the world to me and be being a part of this small community has just really warmed my heart and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this type of content and you want to see more, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Wishing you all an amazing day. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.